Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells here with another edition of Smithbusters. And today we're going to look at the myth that mounting a suppressor on your firearm increases the amount of perceived recoil. Where did this come from? Let me tell you a story, Steve. So I was scrolling through the comments in one of our videos. Uh, I think it was the muzzle device video. And I saw somebody post, if you use a suppressor, that's gonna increase recoil because of all the extra trapped gas. And I thought to myself, Ooh. that's ridiculous. We need to do a video on it. Well, to be fair, they don't teach this in high school physics. They don't teach any of this in any high school anywhere. Right, so what's the story? So the, whenever you're dealing with a suppressor, it's basically doing the same thing as a muzzle brake because all that gas coming out behind the bullet is redirected. It's hitting barriers. It's hitting barriers, and it's not pushing back on the firearm because it's, it's still coming out to the side and spreading out, so it is acting as a muzzle brake. Right. If anything, a suppressor is going to reduce recoil more than a muzzle brake because then you add in the extra weight, and of course, you know, the extra mass in the firearm reduces recoil even further. Sure. But, you know, I can understand kind of where they're coming from if you're dealing with a gas-operated firearm because you have increased bolt thrust and bolt velocity. Sure, that's a thing. Yeah, so when that bolt's coming to the rear, it's coming to a, it's hitting harder. Right. So you have the mass of the bolt creating a little bit more uh, kick, if you will. Sometimes a lot more. Sometimes. Especially like on a blowback gun. Yeah, and sometimes a lot more. But you know, that can all be counterbalanced with, you know, adjust your buffers, uh, different buffer weights, adjustable right. gas blocks. And, you know, to even further go into that a bit, if you were to take a semi-automatic rifle with no muzzle device on it, fire it, and then put a suppressor on it and fire it without adjusting the gas system, you're still gonna notice less recoil because the amount of recoil being reduced at the muzzle is still gonna be more than the increased recoil due to the bolt oh, velocity. The bolt coming back faster. So okay. you're still gonna even have a reduction of recoil then in pretty much any caliber. Right, and so, that is basic physics. It is. So I'd consider this myth totally busted. Busted indeed. If you disagree or you have a different theory on how this works, please let us know in the comments. We'll be happy to read them and uh, maybe chuckle a little bit. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smith Buster.